guys it's Taisha here welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title I am in kind of like the background if you watch like my regular videos I am so excited because we're going to be doing a Halloween video so that means the return of spook tutorial so this is going to be spook tutorial season two I'm so excited um last year I basically did if you don't know what spook tutorial is you probably don't because like whatever but book tutorial is my Halloween series here on this channel where I just do Halloween type makeup I mean it kind of like is self-explanatory I feel like so yeah to, in today's video it's going to be spook tutorial season 2 episode 1 I am so so excited and as you can see by the title I'm going to be doing a glam venom tutorial I like am so in love with like venom like the person the movie everything um person the thing the movie everything um and I was like what better way to start off spooktorial season two than to do a glam venom tutorial I'm gonna be honest with y'all y'all know them like venom how he looks um and then people will do like a full venom tutorial like the fx makeup with the teeth and listen I'm gonna be honest with myself I am not good enough for all that I'm not going to be doing that but we're going to be doing a glam version of it um I made this face chart like always um and I'm pretty bleh, I'm pretty happy with it and I think like it kind of signifies venom and also venom let there be carnage comes out today I know you can like watch it on Thursday like yesterday and all that stuff but I was like what better way like literally all the stars are aligning it's spooktorial season is October 1st um venom 2 comes out I love venom so let's just do for spooktorial season 2 episode 1 a glam venom tutorial so yeah I guess that you guys are so excited for spook tutorial season 2 and if you guys want to see my glam venom tutorial then just keep on watching first I'm gonna do my eyebrows and also my foundation just do your foundation I'm breaking out well I scratched myself with my nail here this is a breakout but I'm like nothing's gonna stop me from posting these book tutorial videos so um yeah first step of this tutorial is to eyebrows and foundation do your eyebrows and foundation however you want um I'm just gonna go off camera and do that just because it's not really a part of this video but I was like debating if I should do my foundation first because usually when I do like eyeshadow stuff I do my eyeshadow first but it's gonna be like very extra as you can see by the face chart so we're gonna do foundation and eyebrows first so do that however you do it and then I'm gonna come back with you guys and we're gonna get to the tutorial <laughs> okay so you girl did her foundation so now we're gonna move on to eyes which is like the most important part I'm so excited so as you can see it's basically like a very intense cut crease um so we're gonna be blending out like kind of like a smoky eye so we're going to be taking the cat cat fond d and light eye palette and first we're gonna take the first brown and mix it in with a little bit of the second brown to just create a well first I'm all over the place let me prime my eyes first that's the most important step you're gonna want to put it towards the temple as well okay so now to get back on track now we're gonna take those two first browns for a transition shade honestly you can use or whatever so like how I'm using like browns I found that the Kat Von D palette is kind of like cool tone so I'm using this one but you can use whatever color to blend it out um if you are a pro and you could just go straight into black and blend out the black look by itself then go ahead and do that um we don't we can't do that over here but if you can do that good for you and go ahead and do that but yeah you're gonna want to bring it up towards the temple but you want to curve it like how I'm doing here and basically my inspiration for this look obviously is Venom but you guys know in the first one where he like is just first turning into Venom and he tells like the neighbor I'll put a screenshot here but he tells like the neighbor to like turn his music down or whatever and then like he turned into Venom but just 
<laughs> just his eyes that's kind of like what i'm going for that's why i'm not doing like a whole face thing also like i said in the beginning i don't think i'll be able to do that <laughs> so yeah and now we're gonna take the second to last brown and mix it with that cool tone shade and put that lower basically we're just gradually darkening this up now we're going to take the Lorac Gold Palette and we're going to take Unafraid. And we're going to take that on a Morphe M330 brush and we're going to lightly tap that off and basically put that into the crease in the same spot that we put the other shade but under it. And like I said, this is just gradually darkening it up until we eventually put the black. But like I said, I am not confident nor good enough to go straight in <laughs> with black now we're going to take the blending brush that comes with the avh palette and we're going to take the black and the shade and light eye palette i'm going to put that into the crease Now I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which I just use it for blackout. So Urban Decay Blackout is like one of my favorite blacks. And then we're gonna take that. And you guys did put it into the crease. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the crease. And we're basically gonna do, like I said, I'll put the face chart like here every once in a while when I reference it. Just so it's like easier to understand i'm gonna carve it out in the shape of his eye like it shows on the face chart here i'm gonna take black out again we're just gonna go in the crease over top of what we just cut like around it just to make it darker and now for the under eye you're basically gonna follow the same shape of the like you know what i mean of like this <laughs> so we're gonna take some white before i finish the bottom we're gonna take some white from the cc beauty palette and basically you see how it's like under my eye we're gonna take it connect the top to my bottom and drag some white under the eye So now to conceal the lash band once I put them on, I'm just going to do a very thin liner right above my lashes. Um, but actually before we do that, we're going to add the little vein mark things on his face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bronzer that I have and I'm going to take this Dose of Colors brush and I'm basically just going to add, so this is going to be kind of like the shading for it. Now I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and you're basically just going to put little lines in the middle of all those shadings that we did. So before I do lips, I'm going to do the liner and lashes like I said, um, and then we'll do lips lashes because I don't really want to mess them up, but I'm really happy with the way that this is looking right now. Let's add a lash. I'm trying to think if I want to add like any like gems or anything since it is glam, um, but I'm not sure yet. So let me go do my lashes. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, I'll do a close up later. I've just put gems like around here and for here. so. Yeah, I feel like you guys can see that. So, and now we're gonna do lips. So basically, we're gonna use black eyeshadow as like lip liner. And we're basically gonna do like a little pointy type mouth. Oh, 
Okay, so I actually don't really remember what the last thing that was said was. I think I was doing my lips. Um, and then I was just like looking at them and I wasn't feeling them at all. So I took it off and, and just put on the gloss. Honestly, I feel like I don't really, how can I say this? I don't really like certain features of my face. So when I like do stuff to like emphasize them or try to like put stuff on them, it doesn't look good on me. But I did like the way that the lips looked with the look if that makes sense so if you do this look i definitely recommend doing your lips that way i think it looked good in hindsight but i don't like the way it looked on my face because there's things i don't like about my face other than when like things draw attention to it or like point out that it like makes me cringe and stuff like that but yeah this is the final glam venom look i'll do a close-up for you guys so you guys can see everything and all that good stuff like i said definitely do the lips on you um yeah i think this turned out really good um and yeah i hope you guys like i'm so excited like as you can see i'm like filled with joy because spooktorial season two is going to be i mean i hope it's gonna be good i'm just so excited i love doing halloween videos i love halloween i love spooky season i know people hate when people say that but like i really do love it so I'm just so excited to be sharing these videos with you guys, sharing my makeup looks with you guys and all that good stuff. Um, if you want to see a last year's spooktorial series or spooktorial season one, it'll be linked down below. Um, yeah, that's kind of like the first year that I did it and like started doing Halloween videos. That's not the first year I did Halloween videos, but it is the first year that I did like several more than like two or three Halloween videos so yeah I love this series it's just a special place in my heart because it all has like a theme and I love Halloween like I said I love spooky season all that good stuff so I hope you guys liked this video if you did please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe turn on my post notifications to be notified every time that I upload also turn on my post notifications so you don't miss any upload of this booktorial series um if you recreate this look you can tag me on Instagram, follow me on all my other social medias, all that good stuff is on the screen right here. It'll also be in the description box down below. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to be starting this spooktorial season with you guys. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Boo. <laughs>